Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Welcome. Nice to see you. How are you? Okay. Thank you. Very well, and you? I'm fine. Thank you very much, too. Okay. Well, I hope you are super fine. I hope we go great on this class. I hope you are all fine. We see students, Janet. Ayala, Francisco Enrique Coreas, Melissa Flores, Cesar Cáceres, Manuel Romero, Emilia Cerna, Carla Flores, Andrea Machuca, okay, Sara Osorio, we see Alda del Castillo, welcome, good evening, I hope you are doing fantastic, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be able to teach this class. Okay. I see you are a bit shy. Don't be shy. It's okay. <laughs> we are all here learning. It's great to have you here. So give me one second, please. I just need um, to open up this. PowerPoint. One second, please. Okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Of course. Of course. Welcome. Okay. All right. I introduce myself. Okay. My name is Blanca Portillo. I am from Hilo Vasco, but I live here in San Salvador and it's nice to meet you okay all right it's a pleasure to be here anybody wants to introduce me yes go ahead okay good evening um janet ayala i'm from san salvador and i have 35 years old. I'm a teacher and it's a pleasure to be here too. Nice. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. So we are both colleagues. <laughs> okay, Miss Ayala. Nice to meet you. Okay. Somebody else? Good evening. Good evening. My name is Kenny Pino. Mm -hmm. I am 20, 33? 33. Years old. Mm -hmm. I am engineering assistant. Okay, an engineer, assistant engineer. Mm -hmm. I'm from San Sonate. Nice. Nice to meet you, Miss Kenny Pino. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Someone else? Uh huh. Volunteers. Raise your hand. Put your hands up. Mm hmm. 
Don't be shy. I want to meet you. <laughs> I just meet Jen, uh, Janet Ayala and Kenny Pino. The rest? Hi, good evening, everybody. My name is Carla Flores. I'm from Santa Ana. I'm 30, 35 years old and I'm a receptionist of call center. Wow, nice to meet you, Miss Carla. Nice to Flores. meet you. Good job. Congratulations. Thanks. All right. Someone else? Okay. Yes. I want to meet you. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Tell me your name. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what you do. Your participation, yeah. <laughs> it's very important, actually. Mm -hmm. No more participants? Oh no. Mr. Manuel Romero? Hello. Hello. Welcome. Perdón, bo, eh, tenía unos problemas ahí con el internet, no sé cómo vamos con la clase. Don't worry, it's okay, no problem. Miss Brenda Escobar. Hello, good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Brenda Escobar. I live in San Salvador. I have 30, 34 years old. Uh, oh, good luck, everybody. <laughs> good luck, everybody. <laughs> good. Uh -huh. Someone else? Miss Emilia Serna. Hi, good evening. My name is Emilia Serna. I am 20 years old. I am a medical receptionist, and it's a pleasure for me to be here. Nice. Thanks. It's a pleasure for us to have you here as well. Great. Okay. Some people have some problems uh, listening to us. Okay, Miss Sara. Maybe um, try to connect, disconnect. Oh, yes. I'm going to answer him. In Spanish. Okay, somebody else? Mr. Aldair Castillo? Are you there? Brenda Escobar. Miss Melissa Flores. Mr. Cesar Cáceres. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My name is Vidal Cáceres. I have 24 years old and yeah. I CPA. Okay. Nice, nice to meet you. All right, someone else? Good night, my name is Melissa Flores. I am a student, 20 years old. 
Okay, I am 20 years old. What do you study? Beside English. I study engineering, I study chemistry, I study politics, business, administration, accounting, medicine, law. What do you study? Hello. Okay, someone else? Miss Andrea Machuca. Can we have your participation? Good night. Hello, good evening. My name is Andrea Machuca. Mm -hmm. Se me escucha, buenas noches. Yes, of course. Good evening. <laughs> Hola. Hello. <laughs> uh, good night. My name is Andrea Machuca. I am 21 years old. I live in San Miguel and I am a student. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice okay. to meet you too. Nice. All right. Somebody else? Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Manuel Romero. I am 25 years old. Uh, I live in San Salvador. In San Salvador. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Somebody else? But well, that's it. Ya todos nos presentamos. Everybody, introduce yourself. Yeah. Okay. So to start, to get into confidence, it's okay that you talk about yourself. Okay, so it's time to talk, time to participate. I don't know if Mr. Oscar could connect his audio. He was having some issues, some problems that hopefully he could connect, okay? So this was just the introductory activity. Uh, he can't, he says, oh my goodness. All right. Okay, so maybe let me see if I can help you. Mm, no, it's okay. Well, hopefully he can connect. Can you hear us, Mr. Oscar? Can you listen? Can you listen to me? No? I'm sorry to hear that. All right, so after this short introduction, well, I hope you are fine. I hope you're pretty well. So I do understand you're making a big sacrifice to be in class at this time, but that's awesome. Congrats. Okay, so to talk about today's class, I'm going to go a little bit backwards. That's, yeah, the objective for this class is to name different means of transportation to say how you get to work or to school because some of you say you are students, right? And to say affirmative and negative sentences in simple present, okay? So these are the objectives for today's class and of course the first thing we're gonna do is to study the vocabulary first okay of course this transportation uh, this type of transportations 
are according to the United States, okay? So, the top eight ways to get to work. This is the vocabulary we're going to practice. Number one is drive. Number two, walk. Number three, take the bus. Number four, take the subway. Number five, take the train. Number six, ride a bike. Number seven, ride a motorcycle. Number eight, take a taxi or take a cab. Okay, transportation in the USA. These are the top eight ways to get work. So these are like the most popular, okay? Ways of, tra of transporting, right? Of commuting. So some of these are very similar to El Salvador, okay? When you go to work, probably you drive a car if you have a car, if you can drive, if it's possible, if the distance is not that far, but not that close either. On the contrary, if it is pretty close, you might walk. Or the most common, I think, is to take the bus, right? Sometimes because of, you know, the cost, because of the price, of the gasoline we sometimes take the bus unfortunately we don't have a subway we don't have trains either okay well some people ride a bike well and lots of people ride a motorcycle and sometimes when it's urgent when it's necessary we take a taxi or we take a cab right is that clear yes Yes. Okay, let's practice the vocabulary. You repeat in your mind, okay? Transportations in the USA, the top eight ways to get to work. People usually say get to work, get to work, get to get, get work. <laughs> drive, number one, drive. Number two, walk. Number three, take the bus. Number four, take the subway. Number five, take the train. Number six, ride a bike. Number seven, ride a motorcycle. Number eight, take a taxi or take a cab. A cab, it's the informal way to call a taxi, okay? And it says the kinds of transportation that you use. What are some other kinds of transportation that we use here in El Salvador? Now it's pretty common, probably that we take. Uh, it's not similar to this uh, yellow taxis anymore. So because we have Uber or we have all these other kind of rented transportation with apps on your cell phones or your smartphones, right? So we're gonna practice a little bit, okay? and talk about the way that you get to work how do you get to work how do you get to school yes so tell me i take a taxi to work i take a bus i drive i walk to work how do you get to work okay so this is what we're gonna do let me see. We're going to practice, okay? We're going to practice saying the vocabulary, okay? Different ways to get work, different type of transportation. We're going to make, let me see. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to make, hmm. Wait a minute. I'm going to make four breakout rooms for you to practice the vocabulary, okay? Practice the vocabulary. Walk, drive, take a taxi, take the bus, take the subway.
Hello. Hi, did you practice the vocabulary? Hi, teacher. Hey, could you practice the vocabulary about the transportation? <laughs> yes, not yet. Hi. Hi. Okay, did you practice the vocabulary in the rooms? No. Not yet. Not yet. It was because difficult. There was only one answer. Really? So you were yes. alone? I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I see. It. I, I think it's some people are having problems with their um, devices. To connect Maybe. to the rooms, yes. Some it people want one answer and, and I was alone. <laughs> All alone. <laughs> and some people never move. Yeah, some people that stay here in the main station. Okay, so no problems. I can't, somebody cannot answer. Right. On the chat, right. How you get to work. For example, I walk to work. Or you can say, I walk to school. I drive to work. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Let me see. As an example, I'm going to write an example. It's not true. I don't walk to work. I drive to work. But how do you get to work? If you don't work, how do you get to school? You can say, 
I drive to school. I take the bus to school. Yes? I take a taxi. Or I get a ride. Okay, how do you get to work? How do you get to school? That's the information you're going to write in the chat right now. Okay? So how? The transportation that you use. Okay? Go ahead. Right now, you use any of the vocabulary and you write, how do you get to work? How do you get to school? Write a sentence. Or, I never take a taxi. I take the bus every day. I take the bus to school. I take the bus to work. Or, I ride a bicycle probably. Some people ride a bicycle, some people ride a motorcycle, okay? Tell me, how do you get to work? Can you write on the chat? Is that possible? Yes? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I take the, okay, I take an Uber. Yes, that's great. And it's similar to take a taxi, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Sometimes I drive to, oh, yes, I drive to work every day, Mr. Kanye says. Mm hmm Green. Uh-huh. Any other way to get to work, to get around? Okay, I never take a bus. Mm hmm I usually walk to different places. I ride a motorcycle. Somebody rides a motorcycle? No? There are so many people who ride a motorcycle. I'm, okay, Miss Kenny Pino says, I drive to work every day. All right. Of course, we don't have subway, we don't have trains, so it's impossible that we take a train or that we take the subway. All right, me, I ride it. Oh, Mr. Oscar says, I ride on a motorcycle. Okay, I ride a motorcycle. That's great. Someone else? Mm -hmm. I take the bus to work. Mr. Castro says, I take the bus every day. Miss Brenda Escobar. Okay, that's good. Okay. Great, nice participation. Awesome. I just wonder. <laughs> I drive in the mornings, it says uh, from Miss Andrea Machuca. Mm -hmm. Great. Someone else? Yes, Miss Kenny. Sometimes I take I take the bus to work. Yes, good, very good. All right, I think everybody participates already. Okay, good, good job. I think you have this conversation, huh? You've seen this conversation before. And we're gonna practice a little bit. What can you see in the conversation? What can you see on this picture? Tell me. Huh? What is this? What is it? <laughs> uh huh. A car. It's a car. You think it's a new car or an old car? Mm hmm. Is it new or old? What do you think? It could be a new car. It could be a new car. It looks like a new car. It seems like a new car, right? Okay, great. Uh -huh. And they are having a conversation, right? Yes, it says, nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. 
She has a new job and she drives to work. Wait a minute. I'm just having some issues. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about my dog. Okay, so we're gonna start again. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, so we have a conversation between Ashley and Jason. So Ashley looks at the car and says, Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? And Jason says, No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she... Uh -huh. What does she do? She drives to work. She drives to work. She has a new job and she drives to work. So she has a car. That's great. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. Probably it's a kind of far distance. She has to go downtown, right? And then Ashley continues my parents were downtown but they don't drive to work they use public transportation public transportation right so the bus or the train then jason wants to know if it's the bus or the train and ashley says the train doesn't stop near our house so they take the bus it's really slow that's too bad so probably the bus, it's, you know, crowded with a lot of people. So that's why the bus goes very slowly, right, to the downtown, okay? Are you ready for the conversation? You need time to practice? Yes? Okay. okay. There we so, go. Let's go. <laughs> there, okay. we go. there we go. Who wants to be Ashley? Who wants to be Jason? You can raise your hand. Uh huh. Raise your hand. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. There we have Janet. She's gonna be Ashley. Mm hmm. Who wants to be Jason? We have a Jason, somebody, oh my goodness, nobody. Oh yes, we have Kenny, Janet and Kenny, ready? Yes. Right. One, two, three, go. Nice car, Jason, it, it is you, it, is sorry. it, is it yours? It is, is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's in downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. 
That's too bad. <laughs> okay, when you take the bus and the bus goes very slow and you need to be on time, you need to get to work early and you go like, mm, this bus is super slow or there are so many people or sometimes it's kind of difficult to be on a bus. It's, oh no, that's too bad. Okay, good job, girls. Good job. Someone else? Another, another participant. Uh -huh. Other volunteers. We need to practice. Oh, you have any question? Yes. Mr. Romero. Mr. Romero is going to be Jason. <laughs> Somebody else? Me, teacher. Go ahead. You are Ashley. One, Carla Flores. Two, Carla, Miss Carla Flores. Okay, one, two, okay. three, go. Nice car, Jason. It is yours. No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is he... Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work that downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near or our house. So they take the bus, it's really slow. That's so bad. That's too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. It's okay. No problems. Okay, good job. Good try, good try. Someone else? Two more participants, two more volunteers. Mm-hmm. Somebody else, somebody else. Somebody says me, teacher. <laughs> Miss Brenda Escobar wants to participate in Mr. Cesar. Wow, Cesar Cáceres, right? Ready? Yes. One, two, three, go. Uh, nice car, Jason. It is you? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburb? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they not drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train. Don't not don't not stop near new our house so they take a pardon, so they take the bus it is really slow. That's too bad. That's too bad, exactly. Yeah, the train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. Okay. Good, 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 good. Questions or difficult words that you find, difficult expression, difficult phrases that you find in the conversation. Tell me. How do you say, can you repeat? Uh -huh. Good job, good job. Mm -hmm. No? Mr. Oscar Aguirre, tell me. Dull teacher, for example, I said, I ride a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. My doubt my is, I can say, I drive motorcycle. No. No, only with the car. You drive a car, but a motorcycle, a I bike, ride. a bike, a horse, a camel. When you do this action, so it's ride. 
Mm -hmm. you say, I ride a bike, I ride a motorcycle, I ride a horse, I ride uh, what other animals when you, when you have your legs like on top of something, yes. Okay, That's thanks. Ride, yes, great. And someone else? No? Mm -hmm. Yes, Miss Emilia Serna and then Miss Melissa Flores. Tell me. I have a question. Yes. Uh, in the second line of Ashley, what is the correct pronunciation? In the second line of Ashley, is her job here in the suburbs? Yes? The correct pronunciation was suburbs? Suburbs. Yes, suburbs, it's an area of nice houses, but not near the city, like quiet, nice place. Those are the suburbs. Not close to the downtown, not like in the center of the city, like far in a nice area only for living. Those are the suburbs with nice houses that usually don't have public transportation. <laughs> they, they usually have private transportation or if they want to take the public transportation, they have to get out of that place. Yes. Nice. Someone else? Yes. The suburbs, as I, as I explained, yes, it's a nice area only for houses. In the downtown, it's like the center of the city, like San Salvador downtown. There's a lot of traffic, a lot of noise, a lot of people. That is the downtown, like in the cathedral, near the cathedral, the plazas, where there's so much business market, people going, coming, up and down. That is the downtown. Mm -hmm. Be care. Yes. Suburb, suburb is like Colonia. Exactly. Nice neighborhoods. Only okay. for living in peace and no interruptions. <laughs> okay. No noise, no people selling, no people Probably in El Salvador, some people come in and come out to sell, probably. But in, in other countries, it's nice area only for living. Mm -hmm. Any other question? No more? Good. Okay. So, let's see. We study the simple present on this lesson. Remember, I told you. Okay, with actions, you say, I cook, you cook. He and she and it, we need to add an extra S. He cooks, she cooks, it cooks, we cook, they cook, right? This is for affirmative. And for negative, we need to add an auxiliary. Do not, do not, does not, does not. That can be the contraction. Do not, don't, does not, doesn't. For instance, if you see here, you say, uh, she has a new job and she drives. We put an S here. She drives to work. Okay. All right. And here, my parents work. My parents is my mother and my father. So it's they work. So we don't need an S. Okay. But they don't. They don't, do not drive to work. They use public transportation, okay? The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. 
So they take the bus. It's really slow. As you may see, the verb is going to change with an extra S when we talk about he or she or it. In this case, the train is something. So it's it. The train doesn't stop. It's it, right? It's something. It's an object in this case, right? So that's why we say do not, the contraction, don't. Doesn't is the contraction of does not. Yes? So I'm going to leave this uh, interesting information here for you to double check, okay? Affirmative, negative, yes? And this is for the question, and this is for the short answers. But now we care for the affirmative and negative. Only those sentences we're going to see today. In the next classes, we're going to study the questions, okay? Right now, only affirmative and negative. Okay, so we're going to go back again to the conversation. Okay? She has a new job, and she drives to work. She drives to work. If I want to say in negative, she, she drives to work, how can I say this sentence in negative? Mm -hmm. She drives to work. That is affirmative. Changed into negative. <coughs> Sorry. She doesn't drive to work. Exactly. Give me one second. <clears throat> All right. Is she doesn't drive to work? Affirmative. She drives. Is remember because it's she she drives to work. Negative would be she doesn't drive to work. Like here, right? She does not drive to work, or she doesn't drive to work. Yes. All right. My parents work downtown. <clears throat> My parents work downtown in negative. My, my parents doesn't work downtown. My parents doesn't or my parents don't. My parents is they, remember, my mother and my father. Uh -huh. My parents uh, don't. Exactly, correct. My parents don't work downtown. Okay, here they say they don't drive to work because they say my parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation in negative. They don't use public transportation exactly they don't use public transportation the train doesn't stop near our house in this sentence is negative already the train doesn't stop near our house maybe you can say oh the train stops near our house so they take the bus so you can say they don't take the bus I take the bus, I don't take the bus. I drive to work, I don't drive to work. He works near the city or he doesn't work near the city. He lives in a big city or he doesn't live in a big city, right? So that is the information you have to remember. When the subject is he, she, and it does not or doesn't. I, you, we, they do not or don't. And this doesn't change. Yes? Okay. He takes the bus. Mm -hmm. They play football. 
and he studies English. You see the sentences? Yes? He takes the bus. They play football. In play, you don't put an S because it's they. But he studies English. In negative, he doesn't. He doesn't take the bus. He doesn't because it's he. They don't. Uh huh. They don't play football and he don't. He don't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Mm -hmm. It would be he doesn't. Sorry. I'm sorry, I was just coughing like crazy, okay? So, they don't play football, and the last one was he doesn't study English, okay? Let's see. Questions, do we have any question? What questions do you have? No questions. Wow. Incredible. There are no questions for today. Nice. Okay. Let's have some questions. What is the vocabulary that we study in today's class? Drive, take a bus, uh, take a train. Mm -hmm. Take a um, subway, take a taxi, ride a bike, ride a motorcycle. Nice. Take the bus, walk, drive, take the train, take the subway. Nice. Good job. The transportation, the different type of transportation. That was the vocabulary. Exactly. Melissa, tell me. Mm -hmm. Melissa, we hear you. Um, what is translate uh, softwares uh, uh, Spanish? <clears throat> softwares es como un nice area. Es una, eh, un área bonito para vivir donde como un residencial. Thank you. That is the suburb. Nice area for a house. A quiet place. Relaxing. Good neighbors. <laughs> nice people. That is a suburb. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? <clears throat> Another question? No? Okay. What is the negative of the next sentence i work in the city negative i don't work in the city, don't work in the city. negative sentence for she drives to work she doesn't drive to work 
she doesn't drive to work. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. All right. How do you get to work? How do you get to work? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Here we have the sentences. Remember that you have the sentences in the chat, right? So I say I walk to work, but it's not true. I don't walk to work. I drive to work. And sometimes I take the bus. Janet says, sometimes I take the Uber. How does Janet get to work? She takes the Uber. Or she takes an Uber, right? Mario Cañas, he... How does Mario Cañas get to work? Yes? <clears throat> uh-huh. Check the chat. We have the sentences on the chat. How does Mr. Mario Cañas get to work? I drive to work. He drives to work. Exactly. And you say it correct, mister. <laughs> but they didn't say it. <laughs> okay. How does Mr. Romero get to work? Mr. Manuel Romero. Check his answer. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yes. No, no, no. ¿Sí? ¿Cómo llega su trabajo? How do you get to work? Uh, all right, a uh, motorcycle. You ride a motorcycle. Wow. So you never take a bus. Depend the price of the gas, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Exactly. Today we never know. Yes. Okay. Miss Carla Flores says. Mm -hmm. I I take a bus every day. I take a bus every day. I take a bus to work. Exactly. That's what you say on the chat. Miss, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Aldair Castillo. Mm -hmm. I go to work by motorcycle. Exactly. So you ride a motorcycle too. Nice. Yes. How do you say mensajero? Uh, messenger, like messenger. Okay. Or, a mail, or a mailman. Mm hmm. Because what you mail, usually, man? mail, like email, but mail, mail. mailman. Uh, mail, mail uh -huh. man. Mail, mm man. -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. And Miss Kenny Pino, how does she get to work? I drive to work every day. How far? How many kilometers? 5, 10, 11, 12. I don't know. <laughs> from what city to what city do you drive? Yes. From San Salvador to Santa Ana, from Santa Ana to San Sonate, from, from what city? From, from San Sonate um, to Apopa. To Apopa? Yes. Oh my goodness. Really? <laughs> yes. That's far. It's, um, one hour. One city? One hour and 30 minutes. Yes. You drive for one hour and 30 minutes every day. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> That's far away. Far, far, far. Mm. Wow. My admiration. <laughs> I drive to work from San Salvador to Soyapango every day. Yeah. <laughs> but that is close. It is hard traffic. It is terrible, 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 terrible. So yeah. I, th I think this hour for me is fine for this class, okay? <laughs> because I finish work at five, so I never know when I'm gonna come. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's it's okay to have a class at 9 p.m. Yes. Yes. It's Teacher. awesome. Yes. And the boulevard is stressful traffic, right? Horrendous. Yeah. Every day. Every day there's an accident. Every day somebody crashed the car. Today I saw a motorcycle on the on the road. So somebody on a motorcycle had an accident. It's terrible. Yeah. For me, for me, the new how do you say carretera? The road. The road. R O A D. The road. The road from Los Chorros. Uh, <laughs> for me, the new uh, uh, roof. The new road. Claudia the Lars. New road, Claudia Lars is the beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you need it. <laughs> yes. It's beautiful. Yes, I saw the videos of that new road and I want to drive too because I'm a crazy driver. So I want to go. Yes. There. <laughs> nice. Okay, so Mr. Brian says I take the bus and we have Mr. Oscar, I ride a motorcycle and Mr. Cesar Cáceres, I take the bus, I take the bus, Miss Brenda Escobar, Miss Andrea, I drive in the mornings, nice, and sometimes I take the bus, okay, Miss Kenny as well, I walk. <laughs> Lisette Osorio walk to work. Nice. Miss Melissa Flores, I take the bus. And then we have some other questions about that. Okay. Only a refresh of you. I know sometimes it's hard, but let's refresh the information. I'm gonna make a parenthesis in Spanish. And I'm gonna tell you, let me see. Stop recording.